The Nintendo Switch has been nothing if not successful, handily outselling other major consoles in the lead up to the next generation. With the millions upon millions of Switch gamers out there, the accessory market for the Switch is massive. And if you can dream up an accessory, you can probably find it online. Accordingly, not all the Nintendo Switch accessories out there make sense. Some of them are even downright strange. Gamers have to decide not only if an accessory looks well built and will work for them, but they have to make sure they don't get suckered into buying something useless. We're here today to take a look at 10 awfully strange Nintendo Switch accessories. Now, this isn't to say there's no audience for some of these, but heck, buying something for the sheer novelty of it isn't all bad either. But if you're looking for Switch accessories worth the money, buyer beware. Here we are in 2020 where you can buy a Joy-Con holder with a built-in knife. Yeah, you heard us right. It's a Joy-Con controller with a knife attached, which you can buy on Etsy for $15. If you've ever stared off into the void wondering if it all means anything, don't think about it. Stab your friends if they beat you in Mario Kart instead. That's presumably the accessories tagline. This is definitely the weirdest Switch accessory we could find. Something about combining a deadly blade with what is essentially a children's toy seems ideologically malicious at best, and a terrible way to say effectively safe at cons at worst. If you're in the knife market, you probably aren't interested in throwing your expensive video game controllers into the mix too. But if you've ever dreamed of wielding Joy-Con blades akimbo, well, you can do that and seller Inceptualize 3D has over 4,300 five-star sales, so no need to worry about build quality or shipping problems. Switch games sure can pile up, and as a portable console, lugging Switch games everywhere can be a little annoying. Cartridge holders, it would stand to reason, make sense as an accessory. What makes less sense is a six-slot cartridge holder you attach to your Switch's dock. Why not keep the games in cases nearby? Why not keep your games with your Switch's traveling gear? What happens when you want to play games you've left at home in the holder? These are all great questions that don't have good answers. In short, if you only bought your Switch to play docked and are only interested in a limited number of games, maybe this works. Unfortunately for the vast majority of Switch owners, this accessory is a strange curiosity. However, the reviews for the holder on Shopee are positive. So don't worry about it feeling cheap or not attaching correctly to your dock. The idea of a Joy-Con grip seems reasonable. They're detachable, after all. And considering the unwashed masses and how clumsy people can be, protecting them is a good idea if you get a lot of mileage out of your Joy-Cons. However, these fast snail grips go way beyond mere protection. They're mini controller cutouts you slot your Joy-Con into so it feels a little more like a full controller. You'll have to constantly be swapping your Joy-Cons in and out of these things as the need arises, and it'll never feel like a proper controller because it was never built to. In the end, it's pretty weird to focus this hard on momentary abstract comfort for single Joy-Con use. You also won't be able to use Nintendo's included Joy-Con controller shell with these. But hey, if you play a lot of Mario Kart and are looking to make the experience a bit more premium for cheap, maybe pick one up. What if we told you that you could remove your Switch's portability and turn it into an unsightly toaster at the same time? You're in luck, because Extreme Rate's Switch dust cover does just that. It's basically a rectangular piece of nylon you plop onto your dock switch to keep dust from accumulating. It doesn't cover the entire device, so some dust might still find a way near your switch, but most of it will definitely be deflected. If you only deign to game on your Switch docked, and you find yourself on constant lengthy trips away from your mansion, wishing you could find a way to save the servants some time, maybe pick one of these up and pop it on before your latest adventure. Otherwise, unless you're an incredibly dedicated clean freak, this accessory probably isn't the one for you. But, at a meager $11.50, if you do only use your Switch docked and the only thing you care about is your Switch not being dusty, why not give it a shot? On a road trip, the hassle of having to crane your neck a little downward to see your screen on your lap, we guess, can be a problem for some. So the Nintendo Switch car mount was created. The way the TFY model we looked at worked was by attaching to the back of a headrest, so those in the back seat could sit back and look at the screen more comfortably. Obviously this only works for kids or if you're grown and frequent the back seat. And you'll have to do a fair bit of squinting depending on how far the headrests in your car are from your face. The Switch's screen is only so big. 
so the use cases are pretty few and far between, but if you've got a whole family and are planning a long car ride in the near future, and your car has a workable layout, a car mount for your Switch might be worth the $20 to keep everybody happy, though your mileage will vary on this one. Nobody wants to lose their Switch. So security is definitely something of a priority for all Switch owners. However, buying a dock lock is not. Sold by Ranger Rhett on Etsy, the dock lock we looked at fits snugly around a dock switch and comes with a padlock for maximum security. You will have to find another way to secure your Joy-Cons though, as the dock lock requires them to be removed first. Now, while it definitely is a weird situation where you're worried about your switch being taken, it needs to be docked, and you're not worried about it being damaged or mishandled, this dock lock markets itself as a tournament-style dock lock. So if you frequent cons or tournaments and often bring your docked switch with you, but want a quick way to lock it down temporarily, this might make sense for you. Ultimately though, a thief can always just grab the whole thing, lock, dock, switch and all, and worry about unlocking it later. So if you're looking for serious security, just keep your switch with you or in a secure location. Individual cartridge cases are a novelty that only really appeal to a select few and offer very little, if any, convenience or protection. These retro NES cartridge cases we found on Etsy may look kind of quirky and neat, but when you think about how a small plastic square being enclosed in a slightly larger plastic square won't be any easier to keep track of or move around, the usefulness of it seems pretty low. Plus, now a cartridge or two that fit easily in your pocket now awkwardly occupies more space and takes more time to get playing. Aesthetically, the GBA game form factor and the NES styling probably has an appeal reserved for older gamers particularly fond of the old days, and less so to the massive modern audience of the Switch. While doubtlessly there is some overlap and these cartridge cases sell, it likely makes more sense for most to conveniently store their games together in something they can move around. Do you play your Switch seated at a table in portable mode? Do you miss the feeling of classic arcade controls? And do you play and love Switch fighting games all the time? If you answered yes to all three, you're probably a little weird. But this mini arcade stick from Exove may be the accessory for you. Though dedicated controllers for specific games have always had a fairly uneven track record. Historically, the biggest issue has been exactly what you expect. Enough games don't support them, so it's more of a hassle than it's worth. While it sounds pretty neat to recreate the arcade experience at home, the positioning you'll have to get into is a little restrictive, and the games you'll want to use this arcade stick with will be few. But if none of that bothers you, you'll get six face buttons and a stick, so it'll be everything you need to get going in Mortal Kombat just like you may have done back in the day. For millennia, humans have asked, how do you flex when you don't have anything to flex with? For owners of the Nintendo Switch Lite, the answer is easy. Buy a Switch Lite stand on Etsy. Ever thought your Switch Lite looked much too ugly sitting there on your desk, just laying there, not proudly standing in attention, showing off its beautiful, pristine, and elegant craftsmanship? If you have, these stands come in a variety of colors, have a sleek, minimalist look, and will only run you $15.99. Your Switch Lite slides right into the stand and can be easily grabbed at a moment's notice. It definitely delivers on its promise of standing there, but for the portable version of a portable console, buying a stand to keep your light at home and unused seems more than a little strange and more than a little useless. A Switch proper might make a little more sense to spend some money on buying a cool dock for, because since it can be used as a traditional console, it'll end up in your entertainment center. For the light though, there doesn't seem to be a need. The Nintendo Switch is an innovative device, seamlessly melding handheld and home play. But for some, the form factor isn't innovative enough. For all those out there who wish the Switch's screen was angled in relation to the Joy-Cons, and who like flowers, we've found the perfect Joy-Con grip on Etsy. This grip is stylized with flowers, snaps into your Joy-Con, and connects to your Switch at an angle. Reviews in the comments promise it's much more comfortable to hold than the OG Switch layout, as it's easier to find a comfortable viewing angle without having to adjust your grip. Though it's a strange looking accessory, and the Switch isn't known for being particularly uncomfortable to play out of the box, so it will come as no surprise that these tilt grips have been a massive hit. Buyers of tilt grips will also have to contend with removing the tilt grips whenever they want to play with their Joy-Cons detached. Are you in the target audience for any of these accessories? Are you pulling up your online cart right now?
let us know in the comments down below. And for more videos just like this one, make sure to subscribe to The Gamer and ring the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest uploads.